more than 4 million students started midterm exams. Syrian our Arab army units eliminated a number of terrorists, most of them non-Syrians. Iraqi army continues operations against tens of ISIS terrorists. French journalist Jean-Pierre Perrin revealed that 1,000 French fighters joined terrorists in Syria as Turkish authorities turned a blind eye to their infiltration. Good afternoon. Welcome to our news bulletin for this afternoon. I'm Dania Nizam. Midterm examinations for the elementary, preparatory and secondary schools started today in all the Syrian schools. Education Minister Hazwan Alwaz asserted that more than 4 million students started to take their midterm exams in all the governorates. The Ministry of Health launched today the second national vaccination campaign against polio. The five-day campaign is aimed at about 2.2 million children under the age of five. The first national vaccination campaign had finished last month, including more than 2 million children. The campaign was in cooperation with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent and the non-governmental organizations. Syrian Arab army units eliminated a number of terrorists and destroyed their criminal tools in Homs, Aleppo and Dara countryside. A military source mentioned that the Syrian Arab army units targeted terrorist gatherings in Al Dar al Kubra, Al Khalidiya, Al Wadiya and Masada villages also on the road between the two villages of Al Sultania and Abu Al Alaya and in Talbisa, Al Ghantuburj, Qai and Homs countryside, killing most of them and injuring others. The source added that the army forces confronted two infiltration attempts towards Al Lairamun and Samir Amis Hotel in Aleppo, killing most of them. In the Syrian Arab army units, target terrorist gatherings in Kawairis, the central prison, Cascais, Castel Harami, Harayton, Yaqd al Addas, and Qadi Askar in Aleppo countryside. In the meantime, the Syrian Arab army units destroyed terrorist gatherings and their criminal tools in Atman town in Dara countryside. In Iraq, tens of Iraqi families left their houses in Al Ambar town to West Al Ambar and to Karbala suburbs, fleeing the terrorist group's attempt to use them as human shields. Meanwhile, Iraqi command of the land forces announced that 55 members of the so-called Islamic State of Iraq and Sham were killed. Also, the Iraqi forces are fighting terrorism, said that the security forces and the tribal fighters in the area are controlling 75% of Al Fallujah suburb. The Iraqi forces and the tribals in the area besieged in Ramadi and Al Fallujah, hundreds of terrorists that belong to Al Qaeda, preventing them from controlling the two cities. The Iranian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Mardia Afkam stressed that the death of the Saudi terrorist Majid al Majid won't stop her country from the international and legal following up to the terrorist attack case that targeted the Iranian embassy in Beirut on November 19th. 
Af Khan said that the death of terrorist Majid will not affect Iran's intention to continue legal and international follow-up to the terrorist attack case that took place in front of the Iranian embassy in Beirut, which led to the martyrdom of one of the Iranian diplomats and the wife of another Iranian diplomat there. In an article published in the Liberation newspaper, the French journalist Jean-Pierre Perrin re revealed that 1,000 French fighters have joined the most extreme terrorists in Syria as the Turkish authorities turned a blind eye to those who cross its territory. Keeping in line with the policy of the ruling Justice and Development Party by supporting the terrorists in Syria, the Turkish authorities, according to Houriyet newspaper, have dismissed some police officers from their duties after they stopped a truck loaded with arms that were intended to be smuggled to Syria from the town of Kirkan, pointing out that the truck was traveling along with elements from the Turkish national intelligence who tried to prevent the truck's inspection under the pretext that it contained state secrets. In turn, some sources told the newspaper that the Humanitarian Relief Commission, along with the human rights organizations, have been carrying weapons to Syria under the cover of humanitarian aid and by the help of some charity organizations. Also, Erdogan's government tended to form some armed groups, training them at the hands of the Turkish national intelligence in order to fight in Syria. The sources asserted that those armed groups are financed by the Turkish government. Meanwhile, leader of the Turkish Republican People's Party, Kemal Kılıçdar Oglu, was quoted by the Cumhuriyet newspaper saying that Erdogan's government is interfering in Syria's internal affairs, providing al-Nusra with arms and practicing a policy of double standards. Kılıçdar Oglu posed the question that if preventing the inspection of the truck, which had been seized on the Syrian borders three days ago, was considered as a secret of the Turkish state, then was believed Bilal Erdogan also considered a secret of the state. Again, the Turkish website T24 published an article by the writer Arkon Babahan saying that seizing shipments of weapons which were intended to be smuggled from Turkey to Syria is evidence on the support provided by Erdogan's government to Al-Qaeda under the cover of humanitarian aid. <coughs> With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching us. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syrianline.sy. After the break, it's over to our latest business and market news with Vani Konjian. Long live Syria and God bless you. Good afternoon. The Minister of Electricity and the Governor of Damascus countryside inspected the Arab gas line that was targeted by the armed terrorist gangs in Damascus countryside. The minister, the minister pointed out that maintenance teams were working around the clock to repair the dam damages caused by the attack so that the gas line would be in service again in the coming few days. He added that the terrorist attack had also resulted in the collapse of a number of towers and lines of high voltage. Director of the General Establishment of Syria said that the quantities of soft wheat to be imported to Syria in line with the contract signed last year are estimated at 2.4 million tons, adding that these quantities have been shipped and would be received very soon. He pointed out that the mills have wheat that addresses the needs of the citizens for the coming eight months. The real estate bank's deposits have recorded an eight-point increase between June and October, rising to more than 16 points. The bank's financial statements have indicated that the total amount of deposits have reached 30 billion Syrian pounds, apart from the bank's deposits of hard currency. The Cooperative Agricultural Bank in Skelbiya town in Hama province granted loans estimated at more than 227 million Syrian pounds to the farmers to secure their needs of agrarian production. The director of the bank said that granting these loans aimed at boosting economic efficiency in the agrarian domain and alleviating financial burdens the farmers were facing.
The sales of the general establishment of external trade reached about 62 million Syrian pounds. The director of the city center pointed out that the majority of the, the sold goods were medicines with more than 59 million Syrian pounds and the tires estimated at 2 million Syrian pounds. Minister of Agriculture's advisor for olive production revealed the working plan set by the minister to improve the production of olive crops. The advisor pointed out that the working plan will be implemented in accordance with an executive program which started at the beginning of the year and would last for four years. He pointed out that the plan aims at improving the varieties of olive crops, the methods of fertilizing and irrigation. The total volume of last year's dealings at the Damascus Securities Exchange were estimated at 2,240 billion Syrian pounds. On the other hand, the value of the indicator rose with 479.89 points, closing with 1,249 points by the end of last year. With this, we conclude our news. Thank you for watching us and goodbye.